Hello. Yeah. Hi. Are you able to hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I can hear you. Thank you so much for joining today. All right. Yep. Thanks to you as well. So yeah, let's uh, get this started. I think we will have you know like little introduction. Don't need to disclose your identity, but. Uh, uh i will start with myself so i am working in uh, seattle area uh in uh, as a senior big data platform engineer and uh, you know like i have around 15 years of experience uh, you tell me about yourself what do you have expectation out of uh, this exercise and then what do you want to achieve Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm from uh, San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm a recent university graduate. My background is mostly in engineering, and I'm just uh, looking for my first job in the industry. And for that, I want to practice coding interviews and get very good at them, uh, but I'm not very fast just yet. Awesome. That's great. Which uh, language do you choose to, you know, like... Uh... For the programming, uh, I only know Python. All right, then let's uh, use Python and then maybe we can get it started. Uh, how about if I give you an easy question where I want you to take? Input and these things, and then so this is the input of a string, and then I want the output to be printed like a a a b b b b one two three four. Okay. Oh, I see. So we have letters, and then the number that's followed by the letter uh, signifies the amount of how many more times this letter will appear in our output string, because A2 means three A's, Z2 translates into three Z's, and B4 translates into four B's. Okay let's... Uh, yep. okay, let's start writing a function. So this function will take an input, something like our input string. And it's expected to, after some operations, it's expected to return an output string. So now we have to create a roadmap of how to get there. Let's see. Right. Uh, we can loop uh, through that string. Uh, first of all, we can convert that string into a list, so it's a little bit easier to iterate over it. And for that, uh, we can split the string uh, using str split. Let me get started on that. I'm not sure if it was the exact syntax, but what I'm trying to achieve with the line of code is to split up those characters. Yeah, then you can just remove the uh, string equal to and then use like a string input a string dot split. And then uh, that will do based upon whatever you want to do it. And then you can print it because I, mean, I don't remember everything. So if you feel like you want to see the result of this one, you can put it into 
to a variable uh, printing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so okay, I can uh, let me create an input string just to test first. So this would be our input string. Let me comment this out first. Um, print. Oh, it says uh, empty separator. Oh, oh, I see. Maybe like this. Oh, great. Great. Okay. So let's uncomment this and So uh, this got returned as a list by default, or I wonder if I need to convert it to the list using this syntax. Uh, why do you want to convert this into a list? Uh, to iterate over it, uh, it, it's a little bit easier to iterate over a list using the for loop. Uh, there should not be any difference iterating over the list or the string. You can iterate the string as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. Sorry. String, string split. Okay. Uh, I should probably save it into a variable. So for oh. Yeah. Oh. Four item in my string. And now we can create a conditional statement, uh, which when it iterates over the string, it compares if it's um, if it's a letter or a number. So if it is a letter, we move on to the next character and if the character is a number we compare it to this previous character and return number of characters corresponding to a number so let me write some uh, placeholder code just to get started on this okay if I turn is not a character continue as um as end um let's see if item is end. So this is the time when we compare this item to a previous item. Um item is an integer. Uh, let's see. So we will address the um, elements of this array by index. So it would be something like or something like, and we compare it. So, 
So this is how we would address a character with a subsequent character uh, by index of its position in the array. So <clears throat> so no, so I don't understand what is I here. Um, it's just the number of the place uh, that the character takes uh, in this array. Um, so what will be the value of I? Um, value of I would be uh, the index of uh, the elements place in the and there is here, it would be like the current position, and here will be the next position. Oh, okay. It's required. Let's see. Continue. If item is a string, so we have to look at the value of an item. If item happens to be an integer. And uh, I will ha have to find a way to somehow address the previous element. So I have to get the value of this item, which happens to be an integer. Um, so it would be out equals uh, item. Um, item times the item mm, there has to be a better way of addressing a preceding character. So what do you want to, you want to check the uh, next character or the previous character? <clears throat> uh, previous character, because what it appears to be based on the input-output sequence, see A2 means this character will be followed by two A's, so I just have to take this two and uh, return two of those A's after the first A. Yeah, then then you can be you can do that by using uh, the i minus one, right? That will be the previous character. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So it would be item multiplied of the uh, something like my string of the. I minus one type of thing. Mm. So this is our item, which is integer. 
so we take it and multiply it. But we cannot multiply string by an integer. Let me... Could, could I... Let me test something out. I just don't remember the sequence works. So if I have like a list A times five. Just comment this out for a moment. So what, uh, what you are trying to do here, what is A? Uh, I'm trying to see if multiplication will return five A's. So for that oh, one, yeah. first of all, A, you need to have oh, yeah. like this and then maybe Try to convert that into integer and then try to run it now. Oh, okay, yep. perfect. So now. So our item it would be and item and my string of five minus one. And we also we could also create an empty list that we would append to. And now uh, we so I'll put string equals and so now we have to figure out what to append to this output string. So it would be. We have to append uh, that character that we had before, and then the amount of characters that we multiplied by an integer. So it's that some string. It's just a just a pseudocode for right now. Okay. So. So can you try to run a use case where you pass the input string and then output and see if it is working fine? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and let, me, let me just try this first, output string. Let, let's just see what it returns. Oh, we need this. Oh, my string, of course. Well, let me test out this function. Oh, and to separate a really? Oh, that's right. Uh, it returns an empty list. So, um, my return statement could be indented incorrectly, or 
uh, there's something wrong with the for loop. Mm -hmm. Can you try to debug? <clears throat> uh, yes. For... Oh, if item is string, uh, we have to, we instead of continuing, uh, we should uh, we should return that string. We should append uh, that string to the output string. And we append this item. Now that it appended, and then afterwards we continue because. Um, the moment it sees the string, the loop might stop executing on this first character. So uh, my prediction is this uh, this code would probably return just A because it would find the string and append it to the empty list and it would return the list A. So we, we, uh, we need a continue close after this. Okay. Cool. It still returns an empty string. Uh, maybe the return statement is out of place. It returns none. Um. Okay, I'm a little bit stuck. I'm not sure. It must okay, be. It must be my okay, so. Yeah, let's uh, print out this one and see what it is doing, okay? Mm -hmm. So, it has printed you this, which means this will consider as a single character because if it is going in the list, if you look through this list, it will only work for I0 because this is all in a single word, right? Oh, yes. We and need to if you just, mm -hmm. and then if you, so you are running here in for my, uh, this things, right? Uh, if I run for item in, Input the string, mm -hmm. okay, and then yeah. I say print item. Remove this one so you know that what is happening, and then uh, so then you are treating one character at a time. So what is the what is the what is the uh, harm in you know like iterating through the string itself instead of you know like converting this into an input string? Oh. You you know what I'm saying? You want to iterate to A to Z to B4, right? Yes. So you don't need to do actually this my string. You can directly do for item in input string and then it will iterate through. Oh, okay. Let me comment this out. Yep. Let's see. So, yeah. Oh, input string. Instead of input string. Ah, oh, yeah, this is not necessary either. Oh, yeah. So instead of, um, we'll have to, yeah, we'll have to get rid of the my string. Output 
description and item. So it looks like it's printing out this yeah, so, print statement. So you don't need to iterate this. Yeah, so this you don't need to uh, iterate through twice. So let's, I'm removing this input string, this mm -hmm. one. So now, oops. Yeah, now you have my, uh, okay. Per item in input string, and then what you are doing is uh, you are saying if item is a string, what do you mean by the item is a string? A string is a tag. So what what are you trying to check here? Uh, if uh, yeah, a string. I shouldn't be calling it a string. I'm trying to determine if it's uh, just like a character, if it's a int, or if it's it's an integer or not an integer. Item and input string. Okay, so and we can do so you item. can use uh, so if you want to check this item, then you can say that if item is numeric. Is numeric, yes, exactly. Thank you. The, I forgot about that syntax. Uh, yeah, if item is numeric, uh, then we just. Uh, oh wait, no. If, is, so if actually, item. you want to, you want to append, you want to append when the item is not numeric, which means it is you know like character or alphanumeric, right? Yes. Okay, and then also in the output string, why do you have list? You want to return as string. So, uh, yeah, so take a look on that. Uh, oh, yeah, because like output string is right now in the list format, so this would return a list, uh, but we don't want the list to be returned, so I can just, can I do like an empty string? Yeah, you can use it as an empty string. Okay, and uh, are we allowed to append to strings? I believe append is only the list operation. Yeah, append is not allowed into the string. So how you will add that string? Uh, I would concatenate empty string and that new string. So I would do output string, just plus, Plus uh, out. So output string, it would be um, plus equals out. Okay, so we have the empty string. Let's let me check what this code returns. Ah, of course. So output string will be plus equals item. And then we continue. And then A, Z, B. Okay, well, it doesn't return an error anymore, but the code uh, doesn't do what we want it to do. It just eliminated numbers and duplicates. So it's somewhere so you, we have so to you do have, a bug here. You have. Okay. And why do you have this continue? What do you mean uh, by this continue? Uh, because I was 
uh, afraid that would, the loop would stop executing on the first character, but now that I'm thinking about it, it would only be the case if it was a list. So we might not need that. Yeah, just let's uh, remove that, but that will not resolve your issue which you are facing. Mm -hmm. So then what is happening here is <clears throat> you loop through and then wherever it is finding the character, so you found it, it loops through the this here for item, mm -hmm. it is put a string, so it is loop through, found A, it is not not numeric which means this executed so if the statement will take that one put it into the output string when it comes to two i don't know what you are doing here in the lf statement and then why it is a lf statement because you have either character or non-character oh then we can just do the else statement so then, which would so then it yeah so then it went to z and did the same thing and B and 4. So that is where your output is showing A, Z and B, which means it is ignoring the numeric value. So I don't know why you have a LF statement. And then what do you mean by item is in? And, in? Uh, if it's integer, yeah, I, I should just write it as the else statement because if not numeric, the else statement would automatically mean that item is numeric. So instead of that, yeah, then I then you could... can use this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so that is correct. Oh, I, my string is sorry about that. Oh, because it doesn't recognize the I because it's not a list. So, uh, to refer this to the strings based on the position of their characters. Um, let's go list. Do you know how you can loop through the index as well as the item? Because here you are not looping through the index, you are looping through the item doesn't matter whether it is a string or list. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Have you heard about enumerate? Oh, enumerate. Yeah, it gives the index and the item. Yeah, so let's take that one and let's take the i as an index and item. Now try out what do you want to try out yes so if uh item is not numeric then we add our item to our empty output string but then otherwise if item is numeric uh, then we take uh then we just take our item Let me see. Uh, then we just take our item and um, we multiply it uh, by i. Now we take for i an item. So we multiply our item by the value. What are you trying to do? Um, I'm just trying to multiply the preceding letter by that number. Um, so what you are getting here, what you will have here on INT item, what it will be replaced here, you know? Uh, I'm not entirely sure because I thought it would convert a string. So, so let's go through this. Let's go through this. Is, is yeah. Let's go through this iteration, right? So for mm -hmm. i item, so i becomes zero first time, and item becomes your first character, which is a, in this list, right? In this string. Yes. 
and then you are saying if not item is num in numeric then add into your output string output string you have defined here so then it found a and then executed this one right yes. and then it moved to the next item which is i become one and then item become two then you are saying that out i don't know what is that okay so you are having out integer two so that is two and then output is string you can do i minus one because i minus one is you know like the before two it is a so the previous character you want to multiply if you multiply the previous character that is what you want to do so then it will do 2a and then you already have a 1a into output string which will have this one so if you run this you need you have your output oh make sense yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i get yeah. it now and then, yeah and then you might not even need i don't know whether you want to do this way or you can just remove this like this so that you know like yeah. one liner is so it's less line lesser and then yep so it is working fine now yeah that is how you will do i would my suggestion would be to you to do more practice and also before jumping and solving the problem try to understand the problem discuss the problem and then proceed and then let the interviewer know that what you are doing so that both of them are on the same page because in this starting i had trouble understanding that you know like what you want to do but uh, yeah i mean you need to do uh, a, a lot of practice I would suggest everybody start from a place, and I understand that you are a college pass out, but yeah, thank I am you. all yeah, the best for your search, but to move practice. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've been doing lead code, but I'm just very new to this. Awesome, awesome, yeah. Yep, uh, do you have anything else for me? Uh, no, I think that would I, be... We can do I more just... coding. I. Uh, yeah but i would suggest you to do more practice first before you know like uh, solving the problem but all the best for your search i hope you will land in a better place thank you so much have a wonderful day it was nice meeting you yep you too thank you bye bye